Hey, what's up guys? It's Kyle from RR Buildings and we're coming at you with a fairly special Tools Day video. Um, I've got Dave and Dave is from Montana. Dave is the owner of Cut Hub. Would you be the owner? You got partners? Yeah, I, am, I have one partner and uh, I'm the owner, inventor, uh, CEO and technician and you name it, I'm it right now. Yeah? And head marketer. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, it's kind of like me. I mean, you know, running your own business, you basically do everything. Yeah. But uh, Dave actually, him and his brothers, they reached out to me uh, because they saw my stuff on social and they thought that they had a product that I would love and that I think a lot of you guys might love, but I don't really know a whole lot about it. This is, this is crazy. Dave flew out of Montana and he's here in my shop and we're going to set up the cut hub. But first, Dave, tell us like, First, what is this and why did you make it? Well, I've had the idea, I had the idea in my head for about 10 years and I was so sick of Dewalt and Ryobi, no offense to any of those companies, but I was so sick of the, the chop saw stands that were on the market. And, you know, we would always go on a job and we'd build what we lovingly call Old Betsy. And you, and you know what it is, it's a bunch of plywood and some old TGIs and way too heavy to move. And you'd end up drilling your block down. And I always felt like, why can't I make this out of metal? Something that's very easy, easily taken out of the trailer, um, super light, super portable. And why can't okay. I do this exact same thing? And so, you know, finally with a little bit of inspiration and a whole lot of prodding, you know, we said, let's do this. So you, you've been in the trades, you, I mean, I know what you do, but uh, tell everybody watching, like, what do you do that inspired you to want to do this? Well, I'm a, unfortunately, I'm a framer and a cider. Um, by, I think that's awesome. I don't by, say unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get out of it. I'm getting older. <laughs> I'm getting older. It's a little unfortunate when you're, you know, crawling up one of these trusses when you're 44 years old, you're thinking, I gotta, I'm too old for this. Sure. But, uh, you know, I, I've framed for 25 years. Um, obviously, you know, I'm as good as you can possibly get with a skill saw. That being said, it's still a very dangerous tool. And as I started having some of my nephews and my sons work with me, all of a sudden it really mattered. And so I said, I gotta make something safe and efficient. And I wanted, I wanted to be able to bring somebody right off the street because you know labor is so hard to find, especially a, you know in a boom market like we're in. I wanted to bring somebody right off the street and have them producing for me immediately, not in Quality. six months, not in a year. And the second I would get somebody trained to six months or a year, somebody else would come along, offer them a dollar more an hour, and I'd be back to ground zero. And I said, how, can I make a tool that I can take anybody, literally anybody off the street that's asking for a job and have them producing for me in a safe, efficient manner the first day. And that's what I sent out to do. I'm very passionate about it. And, and that's exactly what we did. That's awesome. So we're basically sitting on Cut Hub, which is your product, which is your invention and your passion. I want to get it put together. That's, this has been sitting at my house for like two weeks, trying to get it organized for you guys to everybody to work out schedules. So I am like yeah. super excited to put this together because I personally struggle with, I think I told you table saws on site and being safe and ripping down material. I deal with a lot of long length stuff. So ripping a two by 16 footer is, is, is a struggle. Yeah. And, and I'm hoping that this is a good solution for me and my guys. Yeah, absolutely it is. And I wanted, not only did I wanna make it safer for everybody, which, uh, which is obviously very important to all of us, but I wanted to make it faster. You know, I was really sick of having to call a guy over and saying, hey, can you catch this for me? Yeah. You know, and we've all been there. All right, uh, we've all tipped over a really nice saw with a heavy piece of laminate or something and tipped the whole saw over. And I thought, man, this needs to be a one-man job. Even when I would have somebody there to catch it, I was worried about them tripping or twisting it or pinching it. And, yeah. you know, I've got two thumbs. I want to keep them. Yeah. And so I wanted to put that onus on me and nobody else. That's, that's very honorable. I mean, let's, you want to get this thing opened up and put together? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. Um, I'll, I'll give a quick shout out to Kyle here. Um, we looked long and hard for somebody that looked like they knew what they're doing and that kind of fit our personality and uh, looked like you heard. Yeah, not, not knew what they were doing. Well, just like. hey, we, we love your videos. <laughs> they're awesome. Um, when we found out you were from Chicago, we were a little worried. But as we drove away from Chicago, yep. um, then then I got a little more comfortable. Yeah, we're good old country out here. <laughs> so Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate you reaching out and I'm excited. So let's get this thing tore open and let's see what we got. Yeah, let's do it. Cool.
All right, Dave, so we got the Microsoft set up on the, the contractor package, and then you've got this, which comes with the pro package, right. but we're gonna set the table saw up on this, and uh, let's, let's see how this works. So I'm kind of curious how this, does this hang off to the end, or? Yeah, just, it'll set right on the end. We call it the world's smallest uh, table saw package, and the reason everybody likes it so much is it because it just doesn't get in the way of your miter saw, so if you need to be ripping something, you're never gonna have to tell someone to, move mm -hmm. while you throw a piece of 16 in, or 16 foot trim through. So you can set this off the side or on the end or wherever you makes the most sense for you. If you've got a lot of go between, between your miter saw and your table saw, you're gonna want it fairly close. Right. If you're just sheeting a wall somewhere, um, you know, put it wherever you want. It's very light. Um, it's gonna come with both of these wings. We'll put another one on when we're done. We'll take that one off and put it right here. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna allow you to roll a full piece of sheeting through without falling and uh, you'll be able to do that by yourself which is really important all right let's so see yeah let's, let's, let's get it out and uh show you how it works real quick now that that's set up all we have to do is take our mounting plate, put it on like that, and that sit right down in those grooves. Okay, then we're going to mount the table saw on it just like that. Now that table saw is going to stay on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to square that up, put our bolts through, and then that will just come off, and every day you'll just set it right in that gap. If you have anything like that, it's just a matter of taking that leg. And adjusting that up just a bit. Right, yeah, yeah. So okay. All you have to do is loosen that up and, and tighten that up a little bit and uh, stabilize that. You might have to take it off and, and raise that one an eighth or whatever. But mm -hmm. I get that picture. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Yeah, and then you're going to put this other guy on the other yeah. side. And board right here, and we're going to create a, a table that you can cut all your sheets and have a space to work on. If you're doing cabinet work or trim work, miter saw, or uh, right from your miter saw to here, to your grinders, to your jigsaws, whatever you need to do, it can happen right here. And this is going to allow you to throw your sheet through by yourself and that sheet's not going to fall over now. Well, there we go, it's all set up, and uh, I genuinely think that this is probably better than I thought it was gonna be, and I don't mean that as a negative thing, I mean like it is very quality looking. I can't wait to get it out to see if it actually holds up on site, to see what the guys think, because everybody has different feelings, and we're in this nice shop where yeah. everything is perfect. Sure. So I can't wait to get it out, see what the time is, to set it up, mm -hmm. to use it. Um, it's, it looks good, man. Well, I appreciate the opportunity, Kyle. I really do to come out here and meet you guys. It's been great. Um, you know, you mentioned something there about feelings and really, really what I was aiming for. And I know you've been there because you're a construction guy. You've been on the roof and you've had a nail gun jamming on you or not taking the clip right, or you've had a saw shorting out today. on you or something. I had happen today. And you know, I've had too many $300 guns hit the street because I'm so upset. I, I, I felt like, if someone will give me the right tool right now, I will pay $1,000 for this nail gun right now. I'm so sick of this. And if you've been in construction, you've had that feeling. And I said, I'm going, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. And it's an investment. It's, it's not a cheap um, something you're going to find at Home Depot. It's an investment in your company. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if you know anything about American construction, um, we typically invest less than 1% of our income in new technology to become more efficient and safer and we're kind of setting out to change that. This is an investment in you, which is the most important investment you'll ever make. And it's safer, it's more efficiency, it's more efficient, and I know it's going to work on your job, and yeah. I'm really, really thankful for the opportunity. Well, hey, I appreciate it, and if it truly is, then I could stand behind it 100% because I've always preached efficiency, and just, I've never been afraid to spend money on my business. I'm not that 1%, because it all comes back. If you invest properly, it all comes back, and, uh, I can't wait to get on site, man. Uh, Greg was bugging me today. We need this thing because we got to rip some stuff down. So uh, yeah, use it, abuse it. Awesome. That's what we built it for. All right, well, let's 
let's go ahead and we'll say goodbye here. You're going back to Montana and we're gonna take this out on site and we're gonna use this and we'll be back with a full review after we've used it and uh, I'm not gonna go easy, man. I'll give you I'll give you what I think about it. Use it and abuse it. That's what we build this, it for. This thing looks good. All right, well, you have uh, safe travels, Dave, and we're gonna we'll get back to you guys maybe in a week or two when we are able to use this and get a real full review.